Gavin Newsom says that he would not be raising taxes to fit California's deficit, but his recent budget proposal includes $18 billion tax levies for businesses. Guys, businesses in California just can't catch a break these days. I'm telling you that these businesses are paying some of the highest insurance premiums in the world because of constant shoplifting. And not to mention a bunch of people are losing their jobs in California. Like, look at this, guys. California lost like a little over a quarter million jobs, about 340,000 jobs gone. A lot of them very high paying jobs. So some of their highest spenders are gone from California. And now you have a massive levy on businesses. And just to let you know that California taxes are already extremely high. And it's going to be higher than ever before. 18 billion is no joke. And this is just like a little proposal. And more and more taxes will be squeezed in for California. Look at this, guys. Some gun stores in the Fresno area are closing or struggling due to the new gun laws and taxes. There is now a 11% tax on firearms and ammunition. So goodbye to the amendments, guys. Because now it's going to be very hard to open a gun store and even harder to buy a gun for a, like, a legitimate shop. And this is just the beginning. I really do believe that more of these firearm stores will close down as time goes on. Look at this guy, Central California gun stores closed because of gun laws and tax. And new firearms regulations are forcing the only gun stores in certain towns to close down. And there you go. This is another one of those small businesses that have now been closed and will never open again. Now what's even more freaky than this and this is this right here which is San Francisco considering a bill that will let shoppers sue closing grocery stores. This is a really big one because San Francisco does have a lot of stores closing in the grocery store department for a good reason. It's not exactly the best place to open a business due to the fact that shoplifting is so high, but because shoplifting and looting and ransacking is through the roof in San Francisco, worse than New York City, insurance companies, some of them are refusing to cover certain businesses. Many businesses are being dropped from insurance companies. Many businesses are no longer available to open because they can't find insurance. And imagine opening a store in San Francisco or anywhere in California without business insurance. That is, that is scary. You cannot sleep at night. This is not like a lot of the Midwest countries where it's okay sometimes maybe and business premiums are very low. But in San Francisco, you get looted one time, you're done if you don't have business insurance. And a lot of these business insurance companies don't want to operate in San Francisco anymore because stores keep getting looted and they can't make money here. Check this out, guys. Now, if you have stores, not just gun stores, but even a bodega in a certain area in San Francisco, you're forced to close down. Now, the Tenderloin District has always been a bad place filled with drugs and homelessness. And in the past few decades, it's never been cleaned up. So the mayor's latest drug crackdown plan isn't cracking down on drugs or maybe drug dealers or maybe the homeless crisis, but instead of force stores, legitimate stores in the area to close early from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. despite many of these stores making a large bulk of their money during that time. So not only are you paying high San Francisco taxes, you're risking your life to open a business, and also high insurance premiums, but now they're forcing your store to close. This really doesn't make that much sense anymore. Look at this, guys. It was supposed to be San Francisco's second tallest building is now a $1.6 billion money pets. Ocean Wine Center has become a money-sucking symbol of the downtown's dysfunction. Now, if you look at places like Florida, right, and zoom in a little bit on like Tampa and Miami, there is a lot of business. People are doing business left and right in those areas because of pro-business policies and everyone seems to be enjoying it. But when you go to San Francisco, they have some of the worst business policies I've ever seen. Like this one, guys. This is supposed to be like this massive skyscraper. Now it's canceled. And many more of these projects are being canceled left and right, like Google's campuses, Hayes Point, another skyscraper. It's not looking good at all for San Francisco. I really do think they need to do something or else they're kind of screwed. I mean, you even have stuff like this, like massive Bay Area layoffs, big businesses closing. Not great for San Francisco.